welcome back to Park to Road. Just to catch you up, I ended up getting two more tires on my truck. I absolutely need it. And tires today, gosh, $250 or more, they're expensive. And my truck with that transmission, the first guys I went to, they were going to charge me like nine, eleven thousand dollars $11,000. And luckily a friend of mine, he found me a transmission specialist and he was able to get me a new transmission for around $5,500, $5,600. So thankfully this week I am back into a truck with a rebuilt transmission and so thankful for that. I'm so bad. I have to have everything organized and a plan. And ever since the first of this last year, I've just kind of been in shambles. And so I need to get this vlog and me back into roping. So hang with me. We're going to get there and let me show you some pictures and videos of me roping. Showing you a picture of my dad when he was a little boy. He's so cute. My parents, they sent me this calf roping dummy. I've always roped a bale of hay, so it's going to be so nice to have this dummy. I can put it in the trailer and have it there with me when I'm roping. So it's light, or I can put water in it and weigh it down. This is going to be so nice. And then earlier, before the end of 2022, I got to go to a Cesar de la Cruz and Junior D's clinic. And during that clinic, we got to practice healing, heading. They were great instructors and so very personable, kind. It was a small group. We were able to spend three days, um, first day roping the dummy, and then the other two days just roping cattle and the pulling the steer around. So it was so nice. And I was shocked at the end of it because I ended up getting a buckle, which I wasn't expecting at all. So that was just made my heart sing. The end of this last year, before I got into a new home, I ended up getting a new pickup and horse trailer. So excited. I've always wanted a horse trailer like this. So finally got it with 11 quarters, two horse slant. And then it was from December, January, February, March on, just a lot of practicing. I got into heading, so I've been heading a whole lot more. And my mare, she's used to healing and breakaway. So this is new for her on the heading side. And oh my gosh, I need to learn to get my rope up and then she's not really used to pulling those steers so that's something we've got to work on is pulling the great thing about these team ropens they're close they're within an hour and a half of where i live so they're easy to get to and the pins have been nice the cattle have been running fairly average there's no like hard runners and the people I'm roping with they're really kind like everybody's helping each other out and this is out at practice but these arenas they're so nice and my mare she's been pretty good about hauling which is helpful this is the roping here in uh, Rosenberg that I had two runs coming back in what they call the short round. So I'd rope my two previous steers with each partner. And with this partner, we ended up second. And then my last partner here, right, here we, go. Let's <laughs> we ended up fourth. So I ended up getting a check for second place and for fourth place. And oh man, I was so excited. These Texas classic ropens are a lot of fun because they play um, the music to hype you up and just make it sound like you're in the final round and it's exhilarating for sure. This point of winning a check was working really hard, roping every other day and the weekends and getting to the ropens and I know I just need to get back to doing that again but that felt so good and was such a good memory. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Please subscribe and come back to watch more videos of Heart to Rope. Just always remember rope once and rope often.